Before we get started with this video, guys, just wanted you to know that we could not play this game inside of the online dynasty because something's wrong with the dynasty servers and we could not connect after many attempts. And so we had to play this in a quick match, and that's why I'll be ranked 25th and UCLA will be unranked, just to clarify any, any confusion there. Coming off of two impressive wins over the Colorado Buffaloes and the Oregon Ducks, the Arizona State Sun Devils continue Pac-12 play against the undefeated surprise team of the year, UCLA Bruins, number four team in the nation. It's going to be their toughest battle thus far, tougher than the game with Oregon, as this team has just been cruising in this conference and has been having a monster year. So we go to Brayhot in the first quarter. He's going to scramble to his right on second and 13. Nice catch by Carroll on the sidelines. That'll be a nice conversion for UCLA. Then first down, Brayhot takes off, doesn't like what he sees. Vontaze Perfect tries to get him, but Brayhot slides in field goal range. Second and 10 now, Brayhot picked off by Eddie Elder, stalling a drive there. Big play by Arizona State. They needed that defensive stop. Arizona State now on offense. Aragon finds an open TJ Simpson for a first down to what the 46 yard line. Then first down Simpson in motion to the left. The give is to Cameron Marshall. He takes it up the left side. Nice blocking. He's going to get into field goal range for the Sun Devils to what the 22 yard line roughly. And another f first down for Arizona State. But third and 19, trying to get anything going. They just give it to Cameron Marshall on the nice little dump off pass there just to get a close field goal attempt as Arizona State takes an early lead here against the number four UCLA Bruins. UCLA looking to answer back out of the gun, five wide for Brayot. He finds Ricky Marvray over the middle, gets past the safeties deep into Arizona State territory inside of the 30, looking to capitalize on that big play. And now third and 10, Sun Devils trying to make a stop here. Brayot just takes off. He outruns a defensive tackle. He's gonna be tackled just short of the first down, so they would kick a field goal. And then Arizona State trying to get some more points back. Erigwin scrambles out of the pocket, throws a bad pass across his body over the middle. It's picked off by a UCLA linebacker. So they got great field position and an opportunity to score a touchdown. Brayot is sacked on the play, so it pushes him back before the 20-yard line. They have to settle for another field goal. And then later in the second quarter, Brayot trying to get something going before the half. And he finds Ricky Marvray again inside of the 20-yard line. First down Bruins. Third and six now, trying to get something other than a field goal this time. Brayot finds Harkey for a first down there to the five-yard line. Great position now to score. Third and goal. Brayot finds Carroll in the end zone. Touchdown, Bruins. They score big before the half, so 13-3 UCLA after the half. Fake to Jonathan Franklin. Brayot rolls out to his right. Finds Ricky Marvray again. He's going to get into Arizona State territory to what the 41-yard line. And Arizona State's defense needs to step up if they're to get back in this game. And they do here. They force Jonathan Franklin to fumble. Arizona State recovers. And now they're trying to capitalize on the turnover. Third and one. Erguin, nothing to do with the ball. So he is sacked on the play. They could have ran the ball with Cam Marshall. Now they give to Jonathan Franklin, finally mustering a few yards. Arizona State's run defense is really strong today, but third and two now for Brayot. He's got five wide. Arizona State trying to defend the pass, but they don't see the quarterback draw coming. Brayot gets a first down for the Bruins. Definitely caught him off guard there. Then the fake jet sweep. Brayot rolls out to his right. We've seen this play before. It goes to Carroll this time inside the five-yard line, pushed out at about the one-yard line. So first and goal. And now second and goal, they give to Jonathan Franklin. He punches it in. UCLA goes up 20-3 to on the Sun Devils. They haven't gotten anything going on offense since their opening drive. Eric Wynn is sacked on the play by a blitzing linebacker, bringing up fourth and 14. Not too many chances left for the Sun Devils. Eric Wynn looking deep for TJ Simpson, and it's knocked away by a Bruins safety. So UCLA takes over, just need to churn up some clock now. They give it to Jonathan Franklin, who breaks a tackle, goes ahead for a nice first down. Good, tough running by Franklin up the middle. And second and one, give it back to Jonathan Franklin. He's got nice blocks by his tackle and receiver. He scores a touchdown, pretty much putting this game out of reach now for the Sun Devils. Mike Willie catches a ball there from Eric Wynn, but he fumbles the ball. UCLA takes over, and they just take a knee, run the clock out, and UCLA runs all over the Arizona State Sun Devils, and they had a very strong defensive showing today. 27-3, to 
great game by the UCLA Bruins and the Sun Devils really need to come back from this with a victory. Next week, they got Lax Rocks Topher and the Washington State Cougars, who will be without starting quarterback Jeff Toole. So it's a good chance for Arizona State to pick up a victory and clinch a bowl berth as uh, Coach Hurricane really wants to bring home some trophies in his uh, tenure here at Arizona State, and he wants to get started in year one. So here's a look at the standings now. This is not updated after this week, but it'll give you a good idea of where everybody's at. Obviously, give